Hey everybody, it's Wayne. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let's get you a quick update on the wheel strategy. As you know, I am currently wheeling two stocks, Amazon and Celsius. Let's go ahead and kick things off by giving you an Amazon update. Not a whole lot to report other than what I project in better momentum. As you know, in early February, I began things with Amazon by selling a cash secured put with a 104 strike price. The problem was though, the price of Amazon, even though in the last month things have gone up about 4%, at this point, right around here is when things went down to, what, $90.67. It doesn't make sense for me to own 100 shares or to allow myself to get assigned if the strike price is so far off from the current share price. So what I've been doing week after week is rolling out these positions, hoping to get a better strike price, which I have, and also not have to pay back any premium, which I also have been able to do, but it's come at the cost of having to roll out several weeks versus one or two weeks at a time. And the last transaction was March 8th of 2023. I had to roll what was essentially my 102 strike price. I was able to get a slightly better strike price of $101 but I had to push it out to April 14th of 2023. But again, with Amazon in total, I have earned $152. Let's go back here to the chart. And again, we go back to the last month, things are looking a lot better. They are currently up nearly 4%. The last week, that momentum continues to build. And again, Amazon currently is at $98.78. That's a whole lot better for me. Do I think I'll be able to buy to close this early? It kind of depends. Now, if the current share price you know, goes well above $101, yeah, I might be able to buy to close early on this position. But considering that I've quote unquote only earned $152 in total premium, I'm not willing to spend, right? a whole lot of money considering I haven't earned that much total premium. So this is gonna be, I think, a wait and see kind of uh, play. Uh, I foresee this getting closer to April before I buy to close early. But again, I go back to my initial sort of, uh, it's a great thing because I still earned $152. Yes, I have my collateral of $10,100, but I'm not bag holding. I don't own Amazon for let's say $104 and you know I'm super mad because the stock is only worth $98.78 per share. So I'm still in a good position. Let's go ahead and get you an update now on Celsius, a lot more activity. And I think the last transaction we left off was on line item 10. Um, you'll see here that the overall momentum of Celsius continues to go down currently uh, the share price is at $83.78. That's not a good thing because I own 100 shares at $93 per share. So I am down about $1,000 just in share depreciation, not obviously including the total premium that I've earned on running the wheel on Celsius. Take a look here. On the 7th, I had a $93 strike price. It expired on the 10th. I opened that up for $100 and I later closed that out uh, for $15. So I locked in $85 of net premium. I only had to hold that contract for two days. But the problem was, if you look here from the 9th through the 13th, I really wasn't able to sell any more covered calls in which I would generate a uh, significant premium. And remember, the ideal time to sell a covered call is when the stock is going up. So because the momentum of Celsius continued to go down, we saw red days throughout the week, it didn't make sense. So finally on the 16th though, I was able to sell, uh, oh, you know what, let's back up actually, because on the 13th, I was able to sell a covered call that had the expiration of 93. Now that expired on the 17th and I did earn an initial $40. I was able to buy to close early uh, and that was on the 16th. So there was a gap between this one that I closed on the 9th to the one that I opened on the 13th. Take a look here, throughout the month, I've been able to, you know, on a consistent basis, sell multiple contracts in the same week. I did this here on the week of the 10th. I did that here twice on the week of the 24th. I did that here on the week of the 10th of March. 
but I wasn't able to do it this past week. And so the last transaction that I have on the 16th of March, I sold a cover call. Again, a $93 strike price. That puts me at a break even if those shares were called away. This does expire in one week and I quote unquote only earned a premium of $65. But take a look here at the momentum of Celsius. We did see a slight increase, nearly 2% in the past week. If we look at the last month, though, we're still down 8%. So once this momentum begins to go uh, in the up direction, I'm going to be able to earn hopefully more significant premium. But at the end of the day, right, you have to be comfortable with the shares that you own. And from the beginning, I talked about the research that I did when it came to starting the wheel on Amazon and Celsius. I know that Celsius is not a favorite of anybody out there. I personally have a lot of faith in it and I am currently bag holding, right? Remember, I own 100 shares. My average cost is $93, but yet the stock is at $83.78. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I'm very confident that the share price of Celsius will rebound. I'm very confident that I'm, that I'm going to be able to generate steady income by selling cover calls. And if I'm assigned, then hopefully I can get in maybe for a lower strike price of $93. So, so far with Celsius, I have earned a total in $1,400 in premium. Not bad. Today is March 18th. I began this endeavor on January 26th. If we go back to Amazon, $152. That's a total of $1,550. Now, it's important to know that the collateral that's tied up, you have to include that. So $9,300 is what's currently on the line with my Celsius position. And right now, yes, things began at 104 strike price. So that would have been 10,400 in collateral, but I have been able to work that down to $10,100. Again, I'm. It, it sounds crazy, right? Because I've earned more premium with Celsius, but I have just as, just as much optimism when it comes to making some decent money with Amazon. You just have to be patient. Now that we're seeing Amazon slowly going up to the right, again, I'm confident come you know mid-April, I'm gonna hopefully be able to generate some uh, more premium when it comes to Amazon. And the last thing that I wanna talk about is this is something that I've been researching for the last couple of weeks and it really comes down to you. Those who have been commenting and saying, Wayne, are there any other stocks that you would wheel that has a much lower price entry point, right? As you know, Celsius is currently $83 a share. Amazon, about $98 a share. So the question that continues to come up is, Wayne, are there you know stocks out there that you would wheel uh, that have a much lower entry point. And take a look here at these three, I'm gonna talk about TNA, $27 a share when I wrote this cash secured put uh, a few days ago. The T triple Q, uh, I wrote a cash secured put with a $22 strike price as well as a $21 strike price. And SOXL, I think guys, this is gonna be the contender for my next wheel stock. Now, I, I have started things off with writing a cash secure put. I think this is my, let's go ahead and sort this real quick. I think this is the second time I've written a position on SOXL, and it is. So, so far I've earned $67. The first time I ever wrote a cash secured put was back in February 16th. It's not tied to the actual wheel strategy. I'm just kind of testing the waters, if you will, on what kind of steady premium that I can earn from these various stocks. Now, what I'll encourage you to do is make sure you do your own research. But if I do decide to add either SOXL, TNA, or TQQ to the wheel strategy, that means it'll have its own tab. That means I'll give you a summary as to why I chose these stocks to wheel. And again, it's gonna have the same functionality. I, I need to be comfortable with owning 100 shares if they are assigned to me. So I'm currently doing some additional research. Stay tuned on that. But I think that'll be sort of a nice uh, difference between you know higher end uh, cost stocks like uh, Celsius and Amazon. Maybe get in at a much lower price point, but not have to sacrifice as much quality, right? That's the balance as I've uh, responded to a lot of the comments out there. But again, I'm very, very happy with where I'm at. Um, you know, I, I think with Celsius, the share price going below 
um, my current, um, you know, uh, buy price. I think that's sort of a good lesson because right now I could easily make a significant premium, but it would be at the cost of selling below my cost basis. So I'm trying to stay disciplined and not do that. Hopefully you guys are learning some great information. Again, throw it out there. If, if you've begun to work the wheel strategy, I'd love to hear what stocks that you are finding success or not success, right? Leave, uh, leave the good, the bad, and the indifferent. Hope you guys are having a great day. We'll see you on the next update.